Hey guys, new day, new video. So this is gonna be a rapid fire video. Today we are doing customer bubble. Now this is, uh, he's gonna do a custom frame much like uh, I did with the Playboy Bunny windows. So he said he wanted a 15 inch diameter bubble with a 17 inch diameter frame. Only thing I could find remotely close to round was this pizza plate at 16 inches. So basically what I did, I threw it down, got my 16 inch diameter, found the exact center. I measured out seven and a half inches. That gives me the bubble I'm going to cut out. Then I measured out eight and a half inches. That gives me the 17. And, you know, just kind of rip that around. So I got my template. I'm going to cut it out. I am going to get the acrylic all set up. And we are going to blow this sucker. And, uh, yeah, normally I don't blow bubbles for customers. But this is kind of a cool color. So I wanted to give it a shot. All right, we're back. We got her on there for five minutes. Let's see if that's enough. Alright, so we have our 15 inch bubble and the jig here. So what I did was I ended up cutting a 17 inch bubble. So what I'm going to do, and I'm sure I'll show you, after I unpack this, I pretty much just take this and center it up to wherever the bubble is and trace it on some tape and cut it out. And then these will be done. So this is still cooling. Weird color. It doesn't look like a bubble when you're looking at it. But So like I was saying before, my camera rudely interrupted me. Uh, this is kind of a weird color. It's a cool color, but it doesn't even look like a bubble when you're looking at it. You actually have to look at it straight down to see that it's a bubble. I mean, I'm sure it'll look cool on the van and everything. But uh, I gotta tell you, fluorescent, this is the first time I've ever blown fluorescent. There must be something different because this takes forever to cool down. Like if I put the air on this thing for like five minutes and then turn it off, it goes flat again. It's... I had to leave the air on for like 15 minutes for it to like completely fully cure. It was very odd. Never ran into that. Quick update before I go any further. For these, I just laid some tape down, put my circle on there, just kind of centered it up to where it was pretty much perfect. And as you can see, I'm just starting to cut. I'm cutting a little bit outside the line because when I go put it on the sander, I'll bring it exactly to the line and then I'll have exactly what I want. All right, worst part of the job by far. You cut this shit. times probably looking like the Grinch who stole Christmas all right let's go take this to the sanding disc you know I almost forgot to wrap this video up so this is how you know you have a serious buyer when he sends you exact directions self-return label and he shipped this box out here which is no joke man gets zip tied and everything together so here's how the bubbles came out Took me almost as long to cut this damn foam. So, uh, yeah, you know, I might be gonna pull this out. It's packed in so tight. So basically from where I left off, I just went through, put it on the disc, ground it down. She came out sweet. 
pretty nice. Um, like I said, I'm not a big fan of this particular brand of acrylic. I'm not sure what it was, but I'm going to definitely try to stay away from it. So, uh, yeah, that's going to do it. These are getting shipped out. Uh, let's see, today's Saturday. Uh, probably on Monday. Dropped off. Off to Colorado. I think that's where they're going. Yep. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and keep following the builds. There is no way in hell anyone's ever going to send me a case like this for bubbles again. And look at this thing. You zip tie it shut completely. Crazy.